Hey guys, cool on my back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. And we're back with Fruits Basket. Last time, a harrowing in. <laughs> yeah, Akito got physical with Momiji. Um, Toru gained a lot more insight about the curse. And also the fact that it would be affecting Akito too. She also got a face scar. She did? Yeah. She I got mean, scratch on the face. Yeah, she did get scratch. I just... I don't know like if it'll be lasting or anything, but yes. Yeah. Crab like that heals so quickly. Okay. But um, she has a goal and she is focused on it, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Yep. She is, what was her exact words? Uh, whatever strength I have is theirs. Yeah. What I wrote. I want to break it. To break the curse? Yes. Well, she's got to figure out what it is first. She had her I want moment. No, it was pretty great. I love seeing her grow, seeing everyone grow, really. Um, we've seen a lot from Kyo, a lot from Yuki, and now we're seeing Toru grow too. Yeah, it's amazing. I can't wait to see a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> well then let's not wait, let's go! <sighs> How many interviews are we gonna get? How many interviews? Yeah. What do you mean? Well. Toto is not going to stop with Master. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, why keep it a secret? What? Her keep it a secret or the curse keep it a secret? Her. Like, she didn't want them to know that she went there. Like, obviously, the people who are cursed would know the most about the curse. Yeah, but they're also the most dangerous to her and her breaking the curse. I just don't know. Who else could she ask? Like, I guess there's the parents. Yeah. And there's got to be histories or something. There's like the one head of the household lady at the Soma house. That scary lady. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows? Maybe she could trick something out of Akito or something. Or maybe she'll go and do some research. Or maybe Hanajima sees the waves. <laughs> maybe. But, um... Why I mean, she's she... got to keep within her promise not to tell anyone, right? Yeah. So that really limits the field. Well, I mean, you can... You can research something without saying that, hey, these people turn into animals and they're, they're actually cursed. You could just say, oh, I like... I don't know. You could lie. I mean, I don't know if she can lie very well. Uh, she just barely got, uh, kept it under wraps talking to Shigure. Yeah. And even though, who knows if that worked. Shigure is already like, he's angling for change, which seems like he has more like, um, He's more independent than some of the rest of them, maybe? I mean, he's wanted it to change for a while, but, like, none of them can act independently. So he's got to, like, he's he's got to, like, kill the butterfly, right? To, like, start the effect. Mm -hmm. It's like he's got to push outsiders in a certain way in order to have them do something that he can't do. Yeah, but, like... There's also, at what point does the promise to not tell anybody about the curse become weaker than the idea of breaking the curse? Does his editor know about the curse? She doesn't, right? No, she doesn't. Okay. That'd be a great way to... <laughs> like, like she comes to get him to do it or whatever, he just turns into a dog. It's like, oh, I can't right now. I'm a dog. I, and you just have the typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> arf, 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 arf. Oh, gosh. But like, and I also think that like more on just like a <clears throat> story arc sort of thing, why wait to, I mean, obviously you wait to reveal characters until their like kind of arcs take place. I just wonder why, what part 
Colonel's, Colonel's going to play. Well, Ren seems to be trying to do something too. I don't know what she's doing. It's like I won't let her interfere with. I won't let Toru interfere. And she want, and Master thought that she wanted to ask the same thing. How to break the curse? I would assume would be how to break the curse. So. She's already been going around to all the guys, right? Like. Yeah, maybe. She's... Can we assume that she was asking Shigure and the rest of them about the, like whoever she visited before? Maybe. The myriads of people. <laughs> Yeah, that could be. So her plan's got to be somehow. She seems, I don't know, she just seems dangerous and kind of desperate enough to just think that I'll just kill Akito. Maybe um, Toru could talk to Ren, the other, the one that Akito went back to deal with. So I think that's a different person than the horse. Because there's Reen and then there's Ren. Okay. So, Kyo's quiet, reflective, seems kind of... Well, he's shutting himself off again. Right? Yeah. He said, like, I won't... Uh, uh, like, I... I can't fall in love, or I would never fall in love, or something. Yeah. Like, he's trying to not form those attachments so he doesn't miss them when he's gone. He's yeah. locked up. It's interesting, too, that Kyo, he's going to this dojo three days a week, and um, Kazuma is like, why not go every day? Because she might know about the deal. Yeah, I, I... Yeah, I'd definitely be... I wonder how many people do know of it. I doubt Yuki knows. No, I don't think he does. Because if he does, then he would... I feel like just to do something against Akito, he would be like, like, cover take. me. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, he'd take the fall. He might, yeah. Yeah. But there's so much I don't understand. Just like there... It must be the spirits, like that innate competition and hatred of each other well it's not true hatred i guess but it must be like the spirits and such but like are there like traditional japanese stories and rules about getting rid of spirits that are attached to people like I mean, you you watched you haka show so you know that there is <sighs> and mob psycho <sighs> for that matter <laughs> So yes, clearly. I mean, the sumo's stamp in order to drive out the spirits. That's why? Yeah. Oh. To drive away the evil spirits. I thought that's what the salt was for. The, that's to purify the ring, yeah. But the stomping's also to drive the spirits away. But they do that first. They purify and then drive out those evil the spirits. No, 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 in the opening ceremony. Oh, okay. Well, when the Yokozuna... Oh, when the Yokozuna's doing his... Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I understand that. For some reason, I thought you meant the stamps right at the beginning of the match, and I was like... No, no. The timeline's wrong! Okay. Oh. So, yes. They're all about driving out the evil spirits. I think. So... I mean, it all comes back to Akito, right? A word from Akito can tear them apart from the inside out. Mm -hmm. It just hurts them all so terribly and Akito's trying to get them all so unconnected from the world that isolated yeah it's trying to separate them even more what's what's driving Akito well the I mean need for that adulation well, I think that's part of it. Is Akito already cut off from the outside world? Like, 100% and Akito needs those connections? Like, is that how you can break it or something? Maybe. I mean, um, Japan certainly has a history of isolation in terms of, like, keeping out in, in 
outside influences. And even today in sumo, there's only one foreigner allowed in each stable. Yeah. But going back to Akito, <laughs> like, I, I'm just, I'm just going, I keep going back over, like, the themes of the show and, like, the ways they have solved previous problems because you don't just drop a smoking gun at the end of a great of a great story you put little hints throughout like you don't just the check off's guns like you got to show us you got to show us how you fix it before you fix it with it right i mean i think it's i mean it might just be a thing where they just have to be built up you know like maybe they just have to find their strength well but i don't think that's it because up until this point we've been thinking that that like oh toru just needs to get all their confidences up and they all just need to be lovey-dovey with each other and everything will be fine but i think it has to go back to akito a bit more like that's the infection and it's spreading to everybody else yeah i mean it's been a lifetime of that and toru's only been in their life for a year or maybe two but uh, I agree. I think Akito is definitely the final boss. But it could just be a getting him to understand himself and realize. I would really like to know what, like, this has gone been going on for like hundreds, thousands of years or whatever. I'd really like to know that when the cat first started being locked up. I and mean, when the bracelet was made, like some of that history stuff, like it's got to exist somewhere, right? Long enough ago that monks used their bones. Did, histories? Like rec any record recorded history like that? I Maybe, mean, but it's the Soma's, to the Soma's benefit to erase that history, right? Like that's why Hattori has a supernatural ability to erase history. Yeah, they've got supernatural abilities, but they had to go to monks to get that super red and white bone bracelet. Yeah. Like, there's some things they can't do that they don't have power over. True. But Hattori could just erase the monks' minds after can it's done. Can he? I don't know if he can. Like, monks are all about, like, you empty your mind, and that's true. Ha well, Buddhist, Buddhist, Buddhist monks are. I don't know what kind of monks those were. But, like... Sh Shinto monks, probably? Yeah. Um... <laughs> These are things I don't know about. I'm just asking questions. Like, no, yeah, I'm curious to know about it as well. Like, it's good to get an episode on um, Kagura and yeah. like find out about her stuff. But I am very curious about the nature of the curse and where that's going to lead. How, I'm, like, I'm so surprised that she didn't leave. Kagura. Yeah, I thought she was gonna be gone. Like, go to the beach. The house. Oh, well, I mean. I don't know. I think she felt like when she saw Toru run after Kyo, like the night of his true form, like she saw someone who could do what she couldn't. So she probably just wanted to stay out of the way. She probably thought that Toru was helping him more than she was. Would be my guess is why she didn't go. Yeah. They've also been laying it on really thick this um, season about how none of the members of the Zodiac can act against Akito's wishes. Mm-hmm. I mean, even if they guess the wishes? Like, as long as he doesn't specifically say yes or no, how much free space do they have? If they know his mind or he or she's mindset and plans and actions, and if they know where Akito wants this to go and they proceed down a different path, is that is that too much free will of theirs? Well, I mean, him? I'm sure Her? whatever... Shigure's doing isn't something that Akito wants to happen, but he's doing it anyway. So I think it's a, like if Akito explicitly says explicitly says something, they have to do it. But if he doesn't, then they can kind of operate however they want. And is Kyo subject to all that stuff the same as the rest of them? I think so. But but I also think that's probably why Akito also abuses them like he does, so that even when he's not there they still are afraid of him and want to yeah, do everything. Because, like, you know, we'll get on a plane and go to America. Like, you know, if he can't find you, 
can he still affect you? I don't know. Like, he wasn't, um, when, uh, the rat, yeah, Yuki, like, when he didn't go to the, uh, the New Year's dinner or whatever, like, Akito didn't snap his fingers and teleport him. No. There. So, like, and he didn't, like, you know, say, I, you know, Yuki, get over here. And, like, Yuki didn't just start walking like a zombie. So... Like, what does stop them from running, I wonder? Like, yeah, and ha has Akito ever done those purple tentacle mind worm things? Like, does it have to be one-on-one -on -one with people? All these meetings keep being, like, one-on-one -on -one with people. The manip manipulations and such. If, if they all show up together and defy Akito, then... <sighs> Maybe, but they all show up at the dinner every year. And, like, that's how the story starts, with him summoning them all there together. So, maybe that's where it ends, too. Maybe. But Toru. If none of them show up for dinner, except Toru, and Uotani, and Hanajima. But she's cooking. And they just eat. It's all. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just... I'm looking forward to find out, though. Yeah, me too. So, do you want Kazuma and Kyo, Toru and Kyo, or none of the above? Kazuma is the master. Kagura. I mean, Kagura. <laughs> yeah. Kagura and Kyo? No. I mean, he obviously doesn't love her. Well, but he's not allowing himself to love anyone. He's already said he loves Toru. But then he didn't. To protect her. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see. Like, he was straight up defying yelling at Akito and like I, and Akito was just like hands over ears like ah, da, da, da. and Kyo was only back down once Akito started like change focus to Toru yeah yeah I mean he's probably the key to all this and like at what point does attacking Toru not incite um because, like, you know, if the god tricked the animals and he cast the spell on them when all the animals got there, like, the cat wasn't there. Yeah. That's what I keep thinking. That, like, there's a connection there. Like, there's a reason why they keep the cat locked up. It's because the cat has some propensity to end the curse or something. Or at least more freedom to enact it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Surprising that uh, this episode didn't have a, an opening. I guess they needed all the time. They did. It's nice that they brought in the music during um, the part where she broke down, though. Yeah. It's like, I do love you. Believe me. It's so sad. Yeah, that's where stuff's hard. And it... I mean, even if they don't... Even if Pete doesn't love her back, like, the fact that he can still accept her and, like, comfort her and stayed with her through all that after she had basically shown him the part of herself that she hated the most. It's a big part for her. She was definitely one of the characters that, like, I wasn't sure how Toru could exactly fix. <laughs> <laughs> well, she fixed by saving the one that she couldn't save. Being an example. Yeah. Kind of. Great stuff. I Need how, more answers. I wonder how it would have changed if she hadn't run away. If the moment, the Toru moment years later had happened with Kagura instead. I don't know. Akito, yeah, Akito would have beat the shit out of her. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. It's probably. She might have anyway. <sighs> okay. All right. Yep. Well, let's get our answers by going to the next one. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Fruits Basket. If you want to see more, you can right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Also, we stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash blindwave. I stream on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm probably still streaming The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for the first time. Maybe something else. I don't know. But come check it out.